Jim, we've been tracking Rowan for some time. Uh, how did the move finally come about? It's like everything else, isn't it? You know, you you, you work your socks off, and uh, you know we've got a, a great scouting network that we put in place a few months ago, and uh, we've actually scoured the country looking for additional strength and forwards, and then we got a little tip off that Rowan might be available, and um, we didn't hesitate. Mark has obviously seen him play before, and he's assessed his strengths, and uh, we feel he's the sort of caliber player that we need. You know, if we're going to be competing at the top end of the league next season rather than where we have been all this season. So, you know, it's vitally important that um, whilst we look at these youngsters that are in the lower leagues and we scour everything looking for these little gems, I think it's important that we get people with the proven experience in the National North and above. And that's something that we're going to start to put into place now, uh, ready for next season. What? What, what are those attributes? What what were they that attracted us to Rowan? I think they're for all for everybody to see. I mean, um, you know, you've only got to look at the goals he scored and how he scored them. I mean, he's got good pace, he's got strength, and he's not bad in the air either. So I think, you know, in terms of a, a striker, he's 26 years old. He's got 14 goals this year in the National North in a side that's really struggled to score goals. You know, we've created a lot of chances over the the last 10 or 12 games and uh, we've not really come away with the results that we've probably deserved and you know I think if we've got somebody that can put the ball in the back of the net that's going to give everybody a boost from the players to the fans to, to everybody. He's 26 so he's kind of yet to come into his prime but he's still got quite a bit of experience behind him already hasn't he? Yeah I mean he's had a good grounding hasn't he? I mean when, you know he come through sort of Chelsea youth team and then he went to, to Billerick he scored quite a few goals there I think was it 20 and 30 games or 22 and 30 games um, had a couple of years at Reading and, and gained some invaluable experience in developing his technique and, and, and his strength and everything else. Moved on to Stevenage and then um, the move to Geisley last year. Um, so, yeah, I think he's, he's a great signer for us and we're all looking forward to him to pulling on the shirt. We've been looking for this striker for, for quite some time. You, you've had to be patient. Was it kind of tempting to, at times just to, to get the next striker that came along or is it easy to wait for, for the right man? Well, I think everybody knows that the pressure is, you know, at Hereford to, to produce, you know, a winning side and, and, and do it instantly. You know, the good strikers at this stage of the season, or pr certainly two or three months ago, that were doing really well, you know, engrossed in their clubs. And the most of those strikers that are doing really well are at successful clubs and at the top end of the table. So, you know, one has to be patient. As I said to you just now, that, you know, we have scoured the local leagues and there's some really good lads in the local leagues, but they haven't got the experience and the nous of what this level's about. And, you know, realistically, we need to be looking above that. That's not to say we're not going to we're not going to go and pick one or two up. But where we are at the moment, we need to get a little bit more experience into this squad. Um, he's here, obviously, for next season. There's still a lot of work to do be done this season as well, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you know, we've put ourselves into a reasonably good position, but we've got seven games left, and, and, and you know, we want to finish the season as high as we can. And to, to have Rowan coming into the, the, the ranks and, and, and boosting our strike force is, is got to be a big plus for us. And looking forward to next season, is this the type of player that we're kind of, kind of having an eye on for, for getting more of? Well, as I said to you before, I think that um, we need to have the, the balance between youth and experience. And at the moment, we've got a lot of youth and we haven't quite got enough experience. I would just like to add that um, the signing of Josh Gowling, how important he's been to the running. You know, he, he may be 35, but he's an old war horse. And certainly the game against um, Geisley last Saturday in the last 15 minutes, you know, the number of headers he won, his experience, his strength. And if we can get that in, in the core of the side right the way down the middle, then that's going to all bode well for next season.